Hello everybody, this is Anton and uh, I'm going to talk today, this is kind of experimental video, if, uh, so I want to talk today about um, PGP. PGP it's a uh, um, pretty good uh, privacy and uh, there is a quite a good video about PGP. Uh, wait, 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 don't play. <coughs> pretty good video about PGP. It spells like PGP, pretty good privacy. And the name for video is... Um, I'm looking for this video and I can't find it. Yeah, pretty good introduction to pretty good privacy. So it's quite good video, pretty good video and I really liked it. Uh, but it's uh, 53 minutes and 23 seconds long. It's quite long way to watch and they do very good explanation. Uh, I, I, I will try to make my own explanation and I will try to make it faster. So let me run GIMP. You can see it's starting up. So, so I'll take uh, some big image, it's white, and I can start drawing something on it. Hmm, interesting. It's not working. What? I think, you know, last time then I was... Uh, oh, now it's working. Hmm, okay. Now it's working, okay, yay! I need a uh, smaller brush to be come on pretty good privacy so pretty good privacy so pretty good privacy trying to fix uh, several problems problem one problem one is uh, you want to have privacy so it's this word right so you you want to have privacy and you want to share some information uh, with your friend and uh, nobody else would be able to read this information. And right now, then we are sending some email to somebody we just trust to our provider. Like uh, if we are using, for instance, Google uh, email, Gmail, we kind of trust Google. Google will not use uh, uh, information about us, but Google, if Google wants, we'll able to read this thing. So we want to send uh, some message to somebody else encrypted. And uh, like one way to do this thing, we can have some key, right? And uh, like key, it's just a number, right? And encrypt with this key. But uh, how like, for instance, I'm living uh, in one side of world and my friend is living in another side of world. How I'm going to send this key to my friend? Uh, it's kind of complicated. We can use mail or something, but it's not like a convenient way to do this thing. So uh, this is one thing. It's um, encryption, right? Uh, second one, it's um, uh, signature. So uh, I want to know like my friend who sent me message like somebody, you know, there is um, tons of scams, like somebody called to you and said like, oh, you know, like uh, your um, son uh, get then in really uh, real troubles and uh, he needs badly money and can you send me money, right? And uh, you kind of in becoming in emergency state and you believe to this guy and you send money and actually everything is good with your son and it was total scam. So it's like... Um, uh, signing, right? Signing. And you know, I'm really bad of spelling, so I, I'm going to double check my spelling. So, yeah, this this one has to be Y, right? So, uh, let me explain how to solve these two problems. So, encryption, it's actually very simple in PGP. Uh, though PGP people invented asymmetric encryption, async encryption. So what does it mean? You have two keys. So let me delete everything. You have two keys. One key is private key and another key is public. So um, private key you keep with yourself. And the uh, idea of uh, asymmetric 
uh, encryption, you are you are able to uh, encrypt something using the public key, but nobody can decrypt this thing except guy who has private key. So let's say we have some some message, right? Like let's say it's it's message. So we have message. Why it's so big? A message. And we can in, uh, encrypt it uh, using some public key. So we are using public key and we got encrypted message. And uh, we can decrypt this thing only using private key. So how it might work with, um, with privacy. So what we do, we are getting generating two keys, private key and public key. And <clears throat> I just send this public key to my friend and everybody else. Like it's public key and I can share it with everybody. Like any anybody can see my public key. So they can take my this public key and uh, they want to send some private message, right? Like some secret, which they do not want to share with anybody else except my, me, right? So they are using this public key and encrypting this message you, uh, with public key and it's got encrypted and then can send this thing just normally like attached to email or just just in an encrypted way and nobody will able to decrypt this thing except me because I have my private key and I keep my private key really secure. I do not share with anybody my private key. So this is idea. And of course there is a, um, some sort of chicken and egg problem, but like uh, I will uh, explain uh, later how to fix this thing, uh, how PGP fixing this thing. Uh, but um, private uh, public key uh, people has to get first time somehow. And normally I just send to everybody um, my public key and first time that they kind of accepting this thing and saying okay this number let's say like private key is um, one two three four five and private key it's like six seven eight nine so six seven eight nine of course it's longer it's much longer um, they kind of taking this thing and kind of making association like this number connected with Anton so next time then they want to send some encrypted message they are using this number like once it's work uh, once they kind of need to trust to something to make this connection like anton equal this number <clears throat> so I, I i will explain later how it works but at, le at least it works pretty good already because if somebody else want to read see like uh, some private message and can he can say oh i'm anton and uh uh, our guy said okay show me your uh, private key right so he said oh my private key is like uh, 9876 right and he look can take a look at this thing and like take a look on his record and see like oh actually Anton's uh, private key is uh, different so you must be Anton and uh, sometimes it might happen because like you know my private key got leaked and like corrupted or I just lost this private key it's long number it's really uh, it's really easy to lost this thing so yeah I can say oh you know I regenerated this thing so you c you might trust you might not trust so this is kind of a uh, thing you need to trust once at least to get this thing to make this some sort of connection so how to resolve this I will uh, try to explain later so this is about uh, sending private messages so um, signing it's uh, more or less um, same thing but you are not encrypting the message you kind of uh, signing the message and uh, trying to guarantee message got uh, uh, without any uh, changes like you know you can send some message right like message one and somebody bad guy like it's said like uh, it's from right from me right from Anton and somebody want to uh, in between somebody else like Bob getting this message right and somebody in between can modify this message and like instead of message one make the message two 
and it might be bad, right? Like there is a, a lot of different uh, fairy tales, like how somebody to send send message to king and somebody changed the message and king got the wrong message and like it start war and like all these bad things. Like so, somebody guy in between can modify this message and Bob cannot trust this message. So I can sign this message uh, with with my key and basically it's uh, same idea. So what what it does like with it takes the message and calculate the, uh, some sort of hash sum, unique hash sum, which kind of associated with this message. Uh, so like it's a hash, like, you know, you there is a different types of hashes, like there is a CRC hash, there is a Chuck hash, and there is a MD5, MD4, MD5, right? Uh, I do not know exactly what kind of hash used to in uh, PGP, but it's in, in encrypted uh, cryptographic hash, so which is like really hard to uh, like. It makes really good association between what's going on between message and uh, hash. So we got hash, and uh, how does it work? Anyway, yeah. So uh, we are using sort of um, asymmetric encoding. And we are encoding this thing with uh, with my uh, with my private key, right? And we got a, a, a encoded hash. And basically, this is the signature. So we're sending message. We're sending encoded hash. So like here, it's go. It has message and encoded hash. So and Bob gets this this thing. And what he does, he takes the message. He calculates his hash it's supposed to be exactly same as my hash so he got like his own version of hash like b hash let's say and then um, he got encoded hash and he has public key so encoded hash so you can decode encoded hash only using public key you cannot decode encoded hash with anything else so you're using public key which is my public key right one which it was in previous uh, screen and he got uh, my hash right let's call it a hash right so he got a hash so he compares this thing and it's supposed to be equal so if it's equal uh, message is not modified like if somebody else modified this message right like let's say it's make like message different message it will not generate a hash and b hash would not be equal to a hash so then you decrypt and see like oh it's not equal so somebody modified the message and you cannot trust this message so and also uh, you can add uh, to, to the message uh, your uh, public key so you can have encoded hash and you have you can have public key here right so of course like first time you get this thing you didn't have this public key first time you get the message you cannot know like uh, you cannot make the association between me like Anton and uh, my public key right but um, but second time you you kind of store this thing in your database second time you get some message and you can say oh this this public key uh, like inside the message equal to public key in my database so I can at least know like previous guy who sent the message is the same guy like sec who sent the message so this is idea um, how to do uh, signing and uh, how to uh, send uh, private messages like encrypted messages so let's talk about the first part, like how I can trust like first time. So uh, idea behind this thing is a web of trust. And it's, uh, I, I'm not sure I did understand uh, this thing very well. So uh, idea is we have some server, which is, um, and not only one server, like multiple servers, which is, uh, collect let, let's do it like a uh, li little bit differently. So um, we have some guy and we know this guy and we know like the guy A, right? And he has uh, public key A, right? And private key, so it's P and P. So um, just, uh, I'm, I'm not going to do contractions, right? So, yeah. so he has public 
key and private and there is another guy B and another guy C right and uh, what we can do we can um, build a database about these guys so like um, this guy can save like B and B has like some set of keys right and C have set some set of keys and this guy has in his database A he set some set of keys and B oh um, sorry C and it has some private and public key I'm sorry only public key right so public key C and C is uh, same thing but like let's keep it and um, I know about these two guys already and it's me right and I want to start some business with guy C how I can trust C is C so C send me something like C he is C and he has uh, public uh, public key C and I I'm not sure about this connection right so I'm not sure uh, C connected with this public key C so I can ask B oh B do you know about C and B said oh yeah I know about C and he can send me information about C and I can compare does it match or not and A can do similar thing right and uh, they can compare and I can compare with information and C and I can collect the statistic and if everybody agreed like C connected with K so I can have pretty good uh, trust to C uh, this is basic idea of web of trust so they have like some servers uh, and like its network of servers and uh, you can uh, communicate with these servers uh, with some set of tools and there is a different implementation of this thing it's not the uh, part of I just want to show you um, share the basic idea about what is uh, pretty good privacy thank you for watching and bye